Got a flat tire yesterday. So, fix it. Take your bike. Flip him over. Undo the uh, clasp on your quick release. Give it a few spins to clear the safety catch. Tire up. Then you need to start taking it off of there. So I'm going to get in here with a tire tool, which is something that's not going to puncture the tube. The reason you use a uh, tire tool is so you don't puncture the tire. It's plastic and it's dull. So you just get it underneath and just get a hold of any piece of the tire that you can get a hold of and just flip it over the top. Once you get it over the top, <clears throat> then just get a little hook on him here if you got a good tire tool and just hold on to it. You should use multiple tire tools. If you don't have them available, you can use a screwdriver. It will puncture the tube further, so you want to be very careful. Just grab a hold of the edge. And once you've got a little bit of it up, unless you get a really, really stubborn tire, you should be able to just run your fingers underneath and pull it free. You can go ahead and put the screwdriver in a few more times. This is all you need to do. It just spin them right off of there. Once you get all the way around, get the tire tool off of there. You do not need to take off the whole tube, the whole tire. You just get in here where your valve stem is, push them up in. If you had any air left in your tire, you can let the ex excess air out, but it doesn't, you don't need it out. Pull the tube out. You're gonna tuck it right back in the same way you took it out. Now, to find where the hole is, you can sometimes just visually see it. This tube's probably going to be able to be fixed because he's got a little bit of pressure in there. Um, if your tube's got a visible hole, it's probably too big to fix anyway if it's split wide open. I don't have to put a lot of air into it. I'm just going to put enough air in until it gets fat. I'm going to listen for... Holes. I'm going to put it right against my cheek, go around, feel over my hands, and listen. If you don't find anything easily that way, the next step is dip it in the sink or something and when you get it in there, just roll it around. And if there's a hole, it will bubble where the hole is. I'm gonna find a hole here. Let me show you the... Hmm. Took a while to find this hole, this really little guy. You see the bubbles coming? So where those bubbles are coming from is where our hole is. And dry up the area where the hole is. And this whole area is teeny, teeny, teeny tiny. I'm going to get something to mark that with. I put a little bit more air in it because after I grabbed my uh, white paint marker, I couldn't even see the hole. So, a little more air, and I was able to feel it against my cheeks there. And so now, and take mark off where he is. I can hear the hole. I'm gonna get the paint marker right over where it was. Okay. So now I know where my hole is. Right there. So I, I highly recommend this very inexpensive uh, Forte bicycle tube kit. Just a few bucks, comes with sandpaper to scratch it, the glue you need. Some of an assortment of uh, patches. I've already used this kit, so some of the patches are missing already. And these uh, get a nice tight seal. Um, the older ones that you might, might have used in your past are thicker, and they don't stretch and bend as well with the tube. And uh, I tried a couple years ago some of the uh, glueless ones that you stick right on. 
sound too good to be true, it is, uh, they don't work. So you need to use the kind of required glue. The next thing I need to do is take my sandpaper and scuff up where the patch is gonna go. And I've gone ahead and drawn some white lines beyond that because when I scuff, I'm gonna wipe away the, I don't know if you can tell, but I've scuffed it all up. With these patches, I'm just gonna take, and there's a clear layer, and peel off the top. And I'm gonna leave the clear layer actually on it. I can, you can take it all the way off. I leave it on um, while I go ahead and set the patch into place. But it should come, see it's taking the uh, patch with it. So I just peel them back. And I'm gonna cut them off here so that uh, I don't take the other one. So now with my glue, it's untwisted. And if it hasn't been used yet, it's got a little poker on the top there. Poke the hole through it. Mine's been used before though. And get glue, cover the whole thing with glue and uh, spread it around in there. Also, you're gonna get glue on the entire hole area. That's the H-O-L-E area, the W-H-O-L-E, H-O-L-E area. I get glue on both the patch and on the tire. Make sure that you go beyond the edges of the uh, patch. You can have too much glue. But then you actually let the glue dry first. That is something that most people do not understand. So the glue actually has to set up. I'll cap up my uh, glue. Take my spare pieces and put them back in here. And take my patch. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set them down on there. It's both. And it's a sunny day, so mine dries pretty quick. When I was a little kid, my dad used to actually light these things with a match and dry the glue up really fast. I don't recommend doing that. Just let it dry. It doesn't take that long. Now I got to get this plastic piece off here, which you have to get your fingernail in there a little bit to get it started. So you have that little plastic cover. I'm going to get this thing smoothed down. It's always a bad idea trying to do things with one hand. Okay. I'm going to press it in. Okay, note I did not have the tire completely flat. I've, if there's no other way, you can, but ideally have a little bit of air in it. Because you want that patch to take the shape of the tube, and the tube's going to expand. And like I said, these patches are nice because they will expand some with it, but they're not as strictly rubbery as that. So now, I'm going to stick them back in. So, you find your valve stem, the part of your tire that's hanging over the edge here. You need to tuck it up into that. So, you're going to stick. Stick him down into his little hole there. I'm let a little air out of this. You can just press the Schrader valve. That little tip that's inside the uh, valve stem is how you let the air out. If you just press on it, the air will come out. You do want to have a little bit of air in it to put it into the tube, into the tire. Again, it's going to help from kinking and it's going to seat right. So. Once you get the valve stem in, pull the valve stem down. Make sure you get a good hold on that valve stem. You want to make sure he stays straight. And then just take and tuck it in all the way around. Tuck him in. There's my patch. Make sure he's pressed on there nice and tight. And so now he's all the way in. Valve stem's pulled straight. I'm going to go and tuck it in. And I do as much as I can do with my own thumbs. Some tires you can get the whole thing. You definitely don't want to put a new hole in the tire that you just fixed. So, get in there, turn it around, and try to press it in. And there it is, just with my hands. Now, I'm going to take and stick him back in where I got him. Just set him on there. Sometimes you have to release the uh, brake if your tires are a little bit bigger, which you just squeeze this and take this clip off. I've got 
road tires instead of dirt tires on there so mine goes on easily. Twist the quick release a little ways. And then once I've got him kind of firm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clamp my quick release knobby down. Then I take and use this, which has already got um, a gauge on it. See my brake. And I'm going to push the back of my tire so I can get this in. While holding the back of my tire, flip down my latch. And this is going to get pumped up to whatever it says on the side of this tire. So in this case, it's 45 to 60 pounds per square inch PSI. And about 15, 20 pumps, just get it there. And then, take him and flip him over. If you took your brake apart, make sure you put your brake back together. I want to go ride with any brakes. I'm going to change the position of this. I like facing back, but that's all there is to it. Good to go. I skipped telling you one important thing. Before you put the tube in, feel the entire inside of the uh, tire because whatever gave you a hole may still be in the tire. And if it is, you just put a new hole in your tire. So don't forget.